Hello, everyone. Today we will study the influence of the circuit and magnetic circuit on the no-load electromotive force. The main points to master are one, understanding how different circuit structures affect the no-load electromotive force of transformers. Two. Understanding how different magnetic circuit structures affect the no-load electromotive force of transformers, based on the different structures of the transformer circuits and magnetic circuits, we will conduct specific analysis and discussion. From previous studies, we know that the electromotive Force is introduced by the main magnetic flux, and the main magnetic flux is generated by the no-load current. The no-load current flows through the circuit system, and the main magnetic flux closes through the iron core magnetic circuit. Therefore, the connection method of the winding and the magnetic circuit system. Both affect the wave form of the phase electromotive force. In the study of magnetic circuits, we derive two conclusions through analysis. Conclusion one: Considering the influence of the magnetic situation, when the voltage is a sine wave, the magnetic flux is a sine wave, and the current is a picked wave. Conclusion two. Considering the influence of magnetic situation, when the current is a sine wave, the magnetic flux is a flat-topped wave, and the voltage is a picked wave. The meaning of these two conclusions is that, to ensure that the voltage on the secondary side of the transformer is a sine wave, the excitation current must be a picked wave. Since the current flows through the closed circuit, the picked wave contains at least the third harmonic. Whether there is a path for the third harmonic current in the circuit depends on the circuit structure. If there is no path for the third harmonic current in the circuit, the excitation current is a sine wave. The magnetic flux. Established by it is a flat-topped wave. The voltage introduced by the flat-topped magnetic flux is a picked wave. The picked wave voltage also contains at least the third harmonic. However, the presence of the third harmonic voltage poses a serious threat to the operation of the transformer. Therefore, to ensure that the voltage is a sine wave. The magnetic flux should be a sine wave. When the magnetic flux is a flat-topped wave, we should find a way to filter out the third harmonic of the magnetic flux, since the magnetic flux closes through the magnetic circuit. Whether the third harmonic can be filtered depends on the structure of the magnetic circuit. First, let's discuss. The influence of the circuit on the no-load electromotive force of the transformer. Conclusion one of the magnetic circuit tells us that to ensure the induced electromotive force is a sine wave, the magnetic flux must be a sine wave, and the magnetic flux is generated by the excitation current. Considering the influence of magnetic situation. Only ensuring that the current is a picked wave can meet the requirement. To ensure that the excitation current is a picked wave, there should be a pass for the third harmonic current in the circuit. However, whether the third harmonic current can flow through the circuit depends on the structure of the circuit. There are three forms of circuit structures: one, star connection without a neutral line; two, star connection with a neutral line; three, delta connection. First, let's analyze the first type of circuit connection. 
star connection without a neutral line, because the third harmonic currents of phase A, B, and C are in the same direction, they do not sum to zero, which violates Kirchhoff's current law. Therefore, a star connection without a neutral line has no path for the third harmonic current. So, the current can only be a sine wave. When the current is a sine wave, the magnetic flux established by this current is a flat-topped wave. That is, the magnetic flux is composed of the fundamental wave and the third harmonic. Whether the third harmonic can pass through is determined by the magnetic circuit. The second type of circuit connection, star connection with the neutral line, with the neutral line in the circuit. The third harmonic current does not violate Kirchhoff's current law. That is, there is a pass for the third harmonic current in the circuit. At this time, the excitation current must be a picked wave. Then, the picked wave current must establish a sine wave magnetic flux, making the induced electromotive force or voltage a sine wave. This conclusion indicates that when a circuit adopts a star connection with a neutral line, the waveform of the electromotive force has nothing to do with the structure of the magnetic circuit. The third type of circuit connection, delta connection. When the primary side of transformer adopts a delta connection, due to the existence of the third harmonic current in the winding, it does not violate Kirchhoff's current law, that is, there is a pass for the third harmonic current. So, the condition for the no low current to be a picked wave under magnetic saturation is met. Therefore, the induced electromotive force or voltage is a sine wave. This, con this conclusion indicates that when a circuit adopts a delta connection, the waveform of the electromotive force has nothing to do with the structure of the magnetic circuit. In summary, from the above three types of circuit connections, we can derive the following two conclusions. 1. When the circuit adopts a star connection without a neutral line, the excitation current is a sine wave and the established magnetic flux is a flat-topped wave. Whether the waveform of the induced electromotive force can be a sine wave is determined by the structure of the magnetic circuit. When the circuit adopts a star connection with a neutral line or a delta connection, both of these situations have a pass for the third harmonic current, so the excitation current is a picked wave. Therefore, the generated magnetic flux must be a sine wave, and the induced electromotive force is also a sine wave. This situation has nothing to do with the structure of the magnetic circuit. Next, let's analyze the influence of the magnetic circuit on the no-load electromotive force of the transformer. Conclusion 2 of the magnetic circuit tells us that to make the induced voltage a sine wave, the magnetic flux must be a sine wave. When the current is a sine wave, the magnetic flux established by it is a flat-topped wave, leading to the induced electromotive force being a picked wave, which affects the normal operation of the transformer. At the same time, we know that the flat-topped wave is composed of the fundamental wave and the third harmonic. That is to say, to ensure the magnetic flux is a sine wave, the magnetic circuit should not contain the third harmonic. The path of the magnetic flux, which closes through the magnetic circuit, whether the third harmonic of the magnetic flux can pass depends on the structure of the magnetic circuit. Therefore, 
The structure of the magnetic circuit also affects the waveform of the electromotive force. According to the magnetic circuit structure, there are two forms: one, corn type structure; two, group type structure. Let's first analyze the core type structure of the transformer magnetic circuit. In this case, when the current is a sine wave, the induced magnetic flux is a flat-topped wave, which is the superposition of the fundamental wave and the third harmonic. The three-phase fundamental wave is a symmetrical sine wave, and the third harmonic is a three sine waves in the same direction. In the magnetic circuit, the magnetic flux must also follow Kirchhoff's first law of the magnetic circuit. When the magnetic circuit is a corn-type structure, there is no path for the third harmonic. The third harmonic forms a closed loop along the corn column of the transformer and through the air. At this time, the third harmonic magnetic flux is equivalent to the leakage magnetic flux of the transformer. Therefore, there is only a symmetrical sine fundamental wave in the magnetic circuit. Thus, the induced electromotive force is a sine wave. Introducing a transformer with a quantum structure can only produce a sine wave electromotive force. Regardless of the circuit structure, next, let's analyze the second form of magnetic circuit structure, group type structure. When the current is a sine wave, the induced magnetic flux is a flat-topped wave, which is the superposition of the fundamental wave and the third harmonic. However, when the magnetic circuit is a group type structure. Any high-order harmonic magnetic flux can flow. That is, the group transformer has to pass for the third harmonic of the magnetic flux, making the magnetic flux a flat-topped wave. We know that when the magnetic flux of the transformer is a flat-topped wave, the induced electromotive force is a peak wave. And the peak wave electromotive force poses a serious threat to the operation of the transformer. That is to say, whether the group type transformer can produce a sine wave electromotive force depends on the magnetic flux. To ensure the magnetic flux is a sine wave, the excitation current must be a peak wave. Whether there is a path for the peak wave current depends on the circuit structure. Combining the two types of magnetic circuit structures of transformers, we can draw on the following conclusions: one, when the magnetic circuit adopts a core type structure, since there is no path for the third harmonic magnetic flux. The magnetic flux in the magnetic circuit is a sine wave, and the induced electromotive force is a sine wave. This structure has nothing to do with the connection method of the circuit. Regardless of the connection method adopted by the transformer, it can produce a sine wave magnetic flux. Thus, ensuring. That the induced electromotive force is a sine wave. Two, when the magnetic circuit is a group type structure, since there is a path for the third harmonic, the magnetic flux is a flat-topped wave. The flat-topped wave magnetic flux induced a peak wave electromotive force. To ensure the magnetic flux is a sine wave. The excitation current must be a peak wave. Whether the excitation current can be a peak wave depends on the circuit. That is, whether the group type transformer can induce a sine wave electromotive force depends on the circuit. In this lesson, we mainly analyzed the influence of the circuit and magnetic circuit structures on the no-load electromotive force of the transformer. 
I hope everyone consolidates this knowledge after class. Okay, that's all for this lesson. Goodbye. Goodbye.